coming up. Y'all ladies and girls. This competition season, we're on a national ass-kicking tour. Everybody line up. We'll knock you down one at a time. First up, the YCDT superstars from Miami, Florida. Suck your stomach in, sweetie. I can see everything you ate last night. This is a competition. We're not here to make friends. You want us to bring it, we brought it, and we're going to keep bringing it. I have a little bit of a secret weapon that nobody's going to expect. I always want to take a chance to prove myself. It's like revenge. I'm ready. The stand is not about you, and y'all going to ruin this. And anybody that can't do those high kicks and those karate chops are going to get their ass cut. I'm on high kick and karate chops my ass to speak. They don't do what they're supposed to do. What's going on? She cut them? Yeah. yeah. Oh. This crazy food Tawanza is banging on this wonder as hard as she can. I make the food! I didn't know whether to run, to get me some popcorn, or to go find somebody's car and hide up under it. The craziest bitch that lives inside me is coming out if these girls do not win today. Mm. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. change our strategy. Last competition season, the Dancing Dolls lost way more than I would have liked for them to have lost. So this competition season, we're on a national ass-kicking tour. Everybody wants a piece of the Dancing Dolls. Well, that's fine. Everybody line up. We'll knock you down one at a time. This week, we're going to the Bring It to the Floor competition in Vicksburg, Mississippi. And the only team we're battling this week is the YCDT superstars from Miami, Florida. This is probably one of the biggest battle of the competition season. So, now starts the training process. Y'all are gonna run all the way up these steps until I tell you to stop. We rarely battle teams that are just as good as us. And I think that the Miami team, they are just about as good as us. So I know that this is gonna be a long week. Kayla, you're the captain, lead by example. Let go. I can run. So you gonna push me? The last time we battled them, they beat us in the stand battle. And stands is where we shine. Stands is who we are. First place, the YCDT superstars. Going into it this week, there's no creative dance. There's only stands. So the girls get the opportunity to just strictly focus on stands and stands only. Up two, three, four. Up two, three, four. Come on, Kayla. I really hate this exercise. Me and Stills don't work at will. I try to avoid them. I'm not Rocky. I don't just do this every day just because I want to. I just don't. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Come on, Kayla. But I'm going to have to suck it up and do it because I always want to take a chance to prove myself. This is only the beginning. The real training starts at the dollhouse. I hope y'all got y'all life together and y'all understand what y'all are going to be up against, what y'all going to have to do this week. I'm so ready to battle and win or lose because it's like revenge. I'm ready. Y'all have y'all's work cut out for y'all this week because I'm pretty sure the Miami superstars are coming down here to put their foot up in y'all ass. The Miami team exercises all the time. It's like nothing to them. It's like they eat nails or something. Move a little faster. Y'all must want to stay out here longer. We can start running again. First things first, we have to train hard so that we can win big. This competition is right around the corner. We don't have time to play. Suck your stomach in, sweetie. I can see everything you ate last night. Thank you. And we're going to start with some endurance. I don't want to see anybody passing out, acting like you want to have a fake asthma attack or anything like that. I'll be clear. Yeah. So let's start off with 15 blurpees. Nope, that's too small. Let's start off with 50 blurpees. My superstars are definitely coming for the dolls. This is a competition. We're not here to make friends. You want us to bring it, we brought it, and we're going to keep bringing it. One, one. One. Knees up, knees up, knees up. One. I mean, Diana is good at what she does, but she can't touch me with a 10-foot pole. Knees to your chest. Hey, hey. Stop, 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 stop. Do you know how to get your knees to your chest? Yeah. OK, well, get them to your chest. So let's start over from the top, since Kia does not want to put her knees in her chest. You cheat now, you lose later. And smile. Miss Diana, calm down. You know, get off of your little high horse and understand that there are teams out there, specifically mine, that is better than you. Is anybody tired? No. OK, because you, do you think the dolls are going to be tired? No. I'm sure since that last loss that they had, 
I'm sure they are working their butts off to try to reclaim their title. I know they have a very specific style that they do, which is completely different from what I do with the superstars. Five. My style is a lot more creative. Six, seven, eight. My choreography is a lot more intricate and detail-oriented and very rhythmic. Miami is very outgoing. It's a fast-paced city. So a lot of times, you'll see that in our movement. You'll see that in our personality. You'll see that in our style. This ain't no Mississippi bicycle. Where it's like this. <laughs> I think the dolls better be on their A game. I think they think because we won last time that we're gonna kind of slack off a little bit and they think that they figured us out. No, don't think so. I really went outside of the box creatively and some little hidden secrets as well. But I think I have a little bit of a secret weapon that nobody's gonna expect. And this is something that people would not be ready for. Cause no one has ever seen guys compete with the girls in sand battle. We're definitely gonna go back to Miami with the trophy. And if we don't go back to Miami with the trophy, that's gonna be a problem, straight up. Who's gonna beat the dancer dogs? The superstars! One and two and three and four and five. Stop. Y'all should be standing up straight. Not slouching lean. Them girls gonna stand like this with their feet looking like some damn penguin in first position. This is probably gonna be the biggest competition of the season. When we battled the Miami team the last time, you had to give them props and stands. They were better than us that day. We're going to have to be faster, bigger, bolder, period. We're going to have to. It's the only way the team is gonna win. Stand up straight and stop moving. Look at yourself in the mirror, discipline yourself. The YCDC superstars move their bodies in ways that I've never taught my girls to do. And because I know that the Miami team's style got a rise out of the judges, I'm gonna utilize that. And anybody that can't do those high kicks and those karate chops are gonna get their ass cut. I'm gonna high kick and karate chop somebody's ass this week. They don't do what they're supposed to do. Don't say I didn't give you the opportunity to have a stand to come at them with. When y'all go up against a team like the Miami team, it should put a fire on the ass. It should piss you off. I know this is gonna be my last season, so I'm trying to make the best of it. And I just wanna make sure that every week we kill. Every time y'all get ready to battle anybody, I will go after they ass from the beginning. If we lose to Miami again, I know I'm gonna be mad. Cause I'm like, what if I graduate before I get to see them again? I would like to prove myself. I like to prove to people that dance dolls are the best team ever. We're getting ready to have cuts. Competition is in the next day or so. So we need to make sure that I have the best ones out there on the floor. And I see Miss Diana with the clipboard, and I'm like, here we go again. There's never a time where we could just go through a whole week without having cooked. And it makes me nervous every week because I hate getting cooked. Zatia, you and Imanje, if y'all make cuts, y'all be partners. My name is Zatia, and I was a baby dancing doll. I was so happy when I made the dancing dolls. But on dancing dolls, you gotta work hard. Everybody understand? Here we go. One. Two, roll your chest four, five, six, seven, eight. And look at the line back up to me. Mosha Kyla! Six, seven, eight. When Zatia was a baby dancing doll, she was great. She was amazing. But transitioning from baby dancing dolls to dancing dolls is a humongous step. You have to do something that stands out. You have to find your own niche. She's not pushing herself. She's not stepping out of her comfort zone and trying new things. She's just kind of going through the motion. Roll it, check. She got that clipboard, so it's gonna go down. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. My name is Tuanza. I'm Zatia's mother, and I want my daughter to be the next Beyonce. You can do it. I don't know much about Tuanza, but I did hear that her daughter was a baby doll, and now she's a big doll, so I guess she's gonna be on the sidewalk with us. Zatia's success means a lot to me because I know that she can do it. Ever since she was a baby, it's always been something just special about her. She's doing good. Beyonce is Beyonce because somebody believed. So Zatia will be Zatia because I believe. I can she see Zatia on that. the battle squad. I'm sorry, I can just see it. Zatia's not on the battle squad. Twaza, 
You are new, baby. Let's start slowly. Hi, I'm Tawanza. I'm new. Right now, I'll just be quiet and stand in the window. That's what you do. I am <laughs> so nervous right oh, now. We, welcome to the life of a dog. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> nope. But Tawanza, I know exactly how you feel. I felt like that several times with Sanjay. Yeah, I smell a deja vu yeah. happening. Deja vu all, all over, over again. again. I'm talking about all over again. I mean, I know exactly how she feel because I was there once before. My daughter, I hate seeing her day after day being disappointed, getting cut week after week, and I know she tried her best. Y'all gotta be collectively a murder squad and a beast together. Miami is on their way here. They on their way. Y'all gotta get up there and do this together. Because if not, you gonna lose. Zatia, I don't trust you. So, Makaya, does she seem like she's getting better to you? Talk. No. <laughs> you need to be practicing every day. See, the thing is, being a part of the battle squad is not about doing it when you want to. If you're gonna be a part of the battle squad, you have to be all in, because I'm not gonna waste my time constantly helping you or trying if you don't care. I'm gonna do you like I did Sanjay the whole first season. I feel bad for Tatia because I've been through that. Last season, I had to go through cuts. It was tough, but it was motivation to me. Like, it made me just want to work twice as hard as I was working already. So if you don't start pushing yourself, you're never gonna make cuts. It's gonna be a long season. You're gonna be cut. What's going on? She cut now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This crazy food Tawanza is banging on this wonder as hard as she can. No, I am beating on this wonder. I want her to come out. Deja vu, because I remember tapping on the wonder too. Moon team. Is she crying? Girl, I, I need this right here. Is what she happened? tapping on the wonder? Don't tap on the window, sugar. I don't, don't care. Do I don't care. What do you do? I see Diana. She's coming out. Can the ground just move and swallow me in? Because I want no parts of this at all. What, what are you trying? You trying to get Miss V attention? Not the night. I want to know why she's here got cut. Who beating on the window? That is me. It's normal for parents to get upset if their kids get cut. Who wouldn't? But for Tawanza to respond by banging on my window, the only thing I want to do is break her damn knuckles. What, what are you trying? You trying to get Miss D attention? And they don't want that damn feeling, sir. Not the night. I want to know why she's here got cut. I can't Ooh, help it. I I didn't know whether to run, to get me some popcorn, or to go find somebody's car and hide up under it. Y'all stand up and let her knock on this window. We can't control no, it. I'm knocking on the window because I'm trying to figure out why Tia got cut. I know, I know this window is not dirty. It's very clean. And you got a bird's eye view. And you can see where your daughter is at. Oh, in here doing and not doing. Oh, and you got a bird's eye view. And you can see what your daughter is in here doing and not doing. Tawanda tells me that Zatia's not making cuts because of my coaching. If Tawanza actually is looking through that window that she's banging on, she can see that ain't no way in hell Zatia ready to do nothing right now. First of all, Zatia do not know all them stands. She don't know them. Why she don't she know them? Ask yourself that I'm question. I'm not just going to ask myself. Ask you the trainer, you the director, I do you my the job. Coach. OK, hold up, hold up, pause. First of all, I'm here every day at 6 o'clock. I leave every night at 10. Now I stand in here and I teach. I do every damn thing that I'm supposed to do for your child, her child, her child, her child, and her child. I do my damn job. So don't put it back on me, because I do my job. The conversation is over. Come on, Zatia, come on, she get out. She will be making cuts. Come on, get your stuff. Tawanza's not ready for this battle. No matter how much you curse, scream, fuss, act like you're going to fight, the bottom line is your daughter wants to dance on this team. So explain to me who you hurt. She's no longer a dancing doll at this point. Since you feel like I can do, because I said so, baby, I make the rules. Oh, you I'm make the rules. Don't y'all get it. Don't I know what it is. Don't. I know no. what it is. Don't stand. And I know why she's she not dancing. And I know why she's not dancing. Well, I'm glad and you know. And I know why she's not dancing. Bye-bye, baby. And I know why she's not dancing. Bye-bye. 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 My daughter is.
is too good of a dancer. Zatia's still coming back. She still will be a dancing doll. She'll be back. How could she not come back? I mean, that's like Destiny Child without the Beyonce, huh? <laughs> We coming back. Oh, my God. I'm always saying, oh, this is my last year. Great. Next year, I don't have to deal with you bras. Because you're sick and you're crazy. But then, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to miss dealing with these people. What's the best been going on with you? Nothing much, just school. Even though our moments in the kitchen are very rare, I do take the opportunity to try to figure out what's on her mind, you know, with everything with her senior year, her last year as a dancing doll, and her future endeavors, and what it is that she wants to do. And how do you feel about the whole process of, you know, going to college, possibly not staying in Mississippi? I think I'm ready for it. I just, it's gonna be different. Like, so you're not gonna stay here with me? I don't know. It's like, it depends, because I do want to go out of state, though, and just see different stuff. Kayla's decision to go to a college far away, it'll be a mixed one for me. i am be like, well, there's no need to go. I'm not pressuring you to go, but if you want to go, all I can do is cry about it, but I can't stop her. Oh, you ain't got to go. I'm just saying. So you don't want me to leave? You ain't going to want to come back after four years. You know, who's going to want to come back? You're going to experience everything. It's hard as a parent to let go. Nobody wants to let go of what they love and what they're used to. So it's going to be a very hard transition to say, where do you interject yourself now? Where do you try to find space in her life as she moves away? We got to eat this. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be hard for her to let me go when I graduate. Because I know when that time comes around, I'm going to cry. Her practice pain, that's good with me. You good? Perfect. Let's go ahead and eat so you can get to practice on time. This is a part of the skit. Talked about Grace Jones, right? In order to be competitive with the Miami team, we're going to have to outthink them. We're going to have to be more creative than they are. And I have the recipe for that. We have a stand that we have named Grace Jones. Tracy has said a lot about her being called Grace Jones. She looks like Grace Jones. We agree. So going up against the Miami team this week, we're going to pull out every single trick in the book. And the whole object is shock value. That's what I'm going for. This stand, it has a lot of different hip hop movements in it. It has partner stunts in it. It also has the baby dancing dolls in it. Come on. Line up. The baby dancing dolls are second, third, and fourth graders. And they are a huge part of our secret weapon this week. Why you, gotta, why you don't know where you're supposed to go? What's the problem? I don't have time for this today. What is the problem? The babies add an element of cuteness. And while the judges are looking at them, then they'll be like, oh, they're so cute. So it makes you have a higher chance of winning. Y'all come out after him. So y'all go back there. I'm going to have one of my male choreographers, Tim, come out and be dressed up like Grace Jones with the hair and everything. The stand is going to be him on this huge chariot, whipping this whip, <laughs> whipping this whip. <laughs> Watch toes. Okay, see him? Gonna run him over. Then we have one of our babies come out in the car. She's gonna be dressed up like the police, and that car is gonna have DD4L written all over it. And we're gonna take our DD4L mobile and we're gonna run down Mr. Tim. There's a lot of shock and awe moments that are in this stand, and if they make a mistake, it causes the competition. Go, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop. Baby dolls, go up there, get, get in this line. The stand is not about you, and y'all gonna ruin this. Get in this line right here, where y'all are supposed to be in line with them. Wherever you be, wherever you're supposed to be, well, whoever bike you're supposed to be with. Working with the baby dolls is a it's a challenge. When y'all run out, they get down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm a little nervous because the babies they don't utilize common sense. Like I said, they don't use common sense. They don't. Sorry, they just don't. Five, six. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Taylor, why are you hiding behind Haley? Don't worry about it.
That's the new formation. I hope the little girls don't feel like we finna just baby them because they are babies. No. If anything, I'm gonna go hard on you because you are babies. If you mess up, that'll cost us to lose. Do it again! These girls right. are working too damn hard. This has been a strenuous week for them. A crazy strenuous... I can't I see mean... how they gonna do this. <laughs> this competition has extra sauce on the steak. Honestly, Donna is going all off her damn rocker with the pressure she's put on the girls. You know, Sanjay tired and beat, but she's still excited because this is her first time going against those superstars. So she's going to yeah. find that inner energy from somewhere. The last time we went up against the superstars, I don't think our girls was really prepared. The coach is crazy, and we didn't know what to expect. It was a new team that we knew nothing about. What the Five way? more minutes, baby. What the woman What the woman Who is this? What the woman Who is this? Oh, Five more minutes, baby. What the woman Who is this? What the what the hell is that? Oh, 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 oh. Am I seeing this correctly? I know that these children are not getting off this bus with Tracy. Coming up to the studio, you know what? I'm tripping. Somebody must put something in my cheese grits, because I'm tripping. Tracy and her crew from the Miami Superstars. Outside. Outside. I'm for real. Let me just slide this way. No problem, no problem. I don't know what done got into Tracy. I don't know what she's thinking, but I know when Diana come out, Diana is gonna act the fool. Tracy is gonna be so upset that she even came here. So you probably wanna turn around, get your ass back on the bus, and go wherever you at, anywhere but here. How are you? Why are y'all here? Because we wanted to see you. I just felt like it was important for you to meet the team that beat you last time. Oh, okay. I'm Tracy. Okay, I know who you are. Okay. I swung by the dollhouse because I'm a very direct person, and I thought that it was important for Diana to know who I was, <laughs> just in case you forgot. So this is a dollhouse, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. I know, it's cute. It's, cute. it's very cute. It's cute. Well, we're glad y'all here. We're, we're happy to be here. The trip, I'm sure the trip was well. Everybody everybody good? Yeah. Real good. Okay, well, good. Well, this not the Diana I know. This not the Diana that go off on the parents. Where is the screaming? Where is the fussing? Where is everything we get? I mean, we get the heat of everything. And I'm just waiting for that Miss D to come out because she's not here right now. We're happy to have y'all here, hopefully. You know you're ready this time. But we're ready last time, we're ready this time. Well, good. Okay. Hopefully it'll be fun, but it's, it's good to put a name with a face. It's good to put a name with a face. Anybody that shows up at the Dollhouse Dance Factory unannounced must have a death wish. You must really be looking for something. And trust and believe when you come, Whatever you're looking for, you're gonna get that and then some. We're practice. Okay. okay. We're practice, and I'm pretty sure you guys need to go five, six, seven, eight. No, we've Nine, done it 10, already. 11, 12, one, two, three, four. We've done it already. Oh, good. Well, we're, we're, not we're not done. We're not done. So you kicking us out? Yeah, y'all gotta go. Charles, is she mad? Or not? You're not fooling anybody showing up here. These scare tactics, it's just a ploy. Because you know that you're scared yourself. You know that we see you for who you are, we know what your team is and what you're about. And you're trying to scare us, and it's not gonna work. Ooh, that's fine. Uh, oh, she likes strong drink. If they really wanted to meet us, they could have waited till tomorrow. Because they didn't want to meet us. They were coming up here to be damn nosy. They were coming up here to try to see what it is that we had, what we were doing, what we had going on. I think that was a cheap shot, to be honest. I don't appreciate them just showing up. But this right here, she's going too far. And this time, I want the girls to stick it to them. I want them to shove the last win down their throats. Competition is tomorrow. I know the judges are going to be looking. I expect for y'all to win, though. I'm not gonna lie, I expect it. Y'all understand? I'm serious. I expect it. which is only about 30 or 45 minutes from my home. This is Mississippi. Today is an opportunity for us to reclaim a title that belongs to us. Battling the Miami team this week is completely the opposite of the way we battled them the last time. The last time we battled the Miami team, we went into it blind. But this go-round, 
My eyes are wide open. I know exactly what kind of team I'm dealing with. You know, Miami talked a lot of trash the last time they were here about giving us a dance lesson, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna talk trash. I always tell the girls, less of this right here, more of that right there. I need the girls to be ready to fight. And the DDPs are here, and we're gonna try to behave, but we more definitely ready. DDP! The Miami team is coming back down here to try to beat us again. We're looking forward to having them right back here. It's with the same judges, same two teams. We're just ready to get it done. I'm not here to make any friends. I don't really care about being called cocky or arrogant. At the end of the day, um, nice people don't make history. Who's going to win? Exactly. When people leave this auditorium, they should know who's the best. This is a stand battle, and it's just between us and them, one trophy. So I'm trying to win, and if that means I have to step on a few toes and ruffle some feathers, then so be it. Superstars have proven why we're the best. Our first stand is going to bust them in their mouth. They're not going to know what hit them. I mean, why wait to the end to give them something big? Every stand is going to get bigger and better, every last one of them. Give them everything. Leave your heart and your mind and your body and your toenails and your weave and your ponytails on the floor. Leave your mark in Mississippi. Got it? So let's make it happen. Here, here go the spray paint for his hair. Oh <laughs> when I see DT, it feels like they're just going to walk in here and win. But we have stands that are specifically targeted towards the Miami team. Now, I don't know very many girls that have their hair cut like Miss Tracy's. I don't know very many, but I know Tim's is cut like that, and I know Tim doesn't mind dressing up like a girl in the name of Dancing Dolls. You're going for the team, though. You're going for the team. When you're battling a the team, they feel it better than you. You have to go for different stuff. So going for their coach, just the next level. I'm like, ooh. I like it. I like it a lot. I just like it. Damn. You want me to do the whole fade, or you want me to do like a design or something? It needs to be like one little block. You know how hers is going up the front. One block. This end is going to be one I know that's going to catch Tracy off guard. It's going to be like crickets in the freaking room. Yes, Look at them. I like, I'm mad about them lashes. Yeah, they ain't scary. They're like this. Hello. <laughs> Y'all ready for a competition, baby? Let's roll. Baby, it's quiet up over here today. All right, it, good and quiet. Thank God for that. We're up in the stands, and I think to myself, you know what? It's kind of quiet around here, so I'm looking at the ladies like, why is it so quiet? Then I thought, to Wanza. My friend, friend ain't here today. To Wanza. What's her name? Be nice. The only reason she's not here because she is still upset that Diana kicked Zatia off the team and off her yeah. property. You know, I sort of feel bad for Tawanza because her daughter is going to be the underdog now, and I've been in her position, and it's not a good feeling. I, I did what I had to do. She doing the exact same thing. She, I don't tapped on the window before, so I know. Now you mean? tap and bang is a difference. You defending Tawanza like that's your sister. You want somebody to be nice to her, but she didn't learn don't how to say. act. Selena, you are not the advocate for all the new DDPs on the porch. Tawanza thinks she is Joe Jackson, Matthew knows, and Tina knows all together. Now, if this ain't the craziest bitch you have ever met in your life, because I thought I was crazy, but this helper takes it to a new meaning. You know, it probably is a good thing that Tawanza is not here today, so she won't have to deal with all of this. Tawanza is going to come back. She's trying to be positive for Zatia. She want her to make stands. She want her to make cuts. BFF this is over too here. Much. BFF over here. Team Tawanza. Oh. Team Tawanza. Team kiss my nice. ass. <laughs> hey, Diana. Oh, it's so fun to come here and collect trophies in Mississippi. It's gonna be funny riding back home without anything to take But it's not funny if we have your trophy. Now that we're in the situation now and it's time for a rematch, all I want to do is battle. I don't want to talk. I don't want to hug. I don't want to sing Kumbaya. I don't want to roast marshmallows. This ain't the doggone Girl Scouts. We're, we're not friends. We're not friends. So I don't want to even pretend like it. Just make sure you don't take it personal, OK? Nothing is going to be personal, OK? It's never personal. It's always business. It's business? Always. Just make sure you remember that. Always. OK. Always. Well, you looking cute today. Bye now. Please. Everybody look me in my face. Today is gonna be who is going to outperform the other. Y'all give them attitude. 
And when I say attitude, it should be all over your face. Like, what, what, what? When I say give it to him, give it to him. Y'all got me? Just dance. Y'all got this. You got this. Do y'all understand me? You have this. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle. Get her. All right, heads bowed, eyes closed. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for each and every day that we have the opportunity to breathe life. Lord, some of these girls may be afraid, and I know sometimes when you go up against teams that are just as strong as you, it puts doubt in your heart. But I ask you to remove that doubt and replace it with courage, because Lord, our girls are amazing, and I want them to know that. I want them to believe it, I want them to feel it, and I want them to utilize it. These girls have worked extremely hard for this one moment, Lord, and I ask that you watch over them as they perform. Lord, I ask that you watch over each and every one of these girls, and in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen of Vicksburg, Mississippi, I welcome you to the long-awaited stand battle between the Dancing Dolls of Jackson, Mississippi I feel like this superstar winging, it has to go down. Now, I'm warning everybody around me that the craziest bitch that lives inside me is coming out if these girls do not win today. And the visiting YCDT superstars from Miami, Florida. Dancing dolls have no idea what's about to hit them. None whatsoever. Y'all got on tutus. We don't bring tutus to a battle. We not at a ballet recital. We are in a major red battle. We're gonna take them tutus and swing them around your neck. We come and fight. Let's get Think that you're the best, but um, we've already proven to you one time before that that's not the case. I only came to Mississippi for two reasons to get the trophy and some catfish. I be throwing that flame everywhere, and you can see my name everywhere. I'm gonna burn this up, so beware if you ain't used to the fight. They got dudes on the team, and I'm like, oh, look at here, girl. Y'all come on out here. For guys to compete in a stand battle is quite rare, but guys should be playing football. Not sitting up there doing damn splits. I'm just saying. I love Kayla as a captain because Kayla has a demeanor that is just so mean and rude and she come out the gate swinging. Miami, you got us last time, but this time we gunning for you. Your whole little crew, it don't matter, y'all still gon' do you. Put out my juice, you don't know what to do with it. Go ahead, where the you fit it. I'm just telling you, beware, cause you gon' get it. Turn it up, it's so amazing. Turn it up, feel it raging. Turn it up. The last time YCDT was in Mississippi, they kinda sucker punched us. But this time, we're gonna have a few more tricks up our sleeves. So that's where I'm Choco and my girls go and grab their bandanas. And they're just like kind of just taunting them and dancing with the bandanas, doing intricate choreography. Uh, like, you're gonna die. Like, and there's no coming from that. Tracy, I'm like, what the hell's wrong with her? Why is she doing all this jump around? Like, it made me nervous. And it's not the fact that it was a jumping around, it was just the fact that it was just too close to me. Like, too close to my spirit. I'm standing still, and you jumping around. Like, we on a trampoline. Oh, wait a minute, now wait a minute. You really think you're doing this Superstars, 
at the serious look on their face. They came to fight, baby. They came to battle. They're not playing. And I'm like, do we need to be worried about this? Oh, we'll find you like a drone. One of their stands, the girls go to build some type of tower. My Miss Cleo in my head is telling me this is not going to be pretty. But I'm as a parent, because I am a parent first, I'm kind of like, Lord, please don't let these folks come fall them down, because this is just not what I want right now. YCDT, they start building what looks like a house, but I notice it's not really sturdy. And I see the girl wobbling, her legs are wobbling. I'm like, oh snap, oh snap, this is not gonna be good, oh snap. Then the girl that's getting on the top, she's wobbling. And all I kept thinking about is even though we're battling this team and we wanna beat them, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Y'all better be careful. Keep my money, you keep the ball. Right. It's 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 Glad nobody got hurt. I know you're superstars, but there was a little falling star, honey, but glad you okay. Go and feel the sound. It's on tonight. All hands up to the sky. It's on tonight. We'll make you lose your mind. We turn it up, we turn it up, we turn it up. We're taking over the night. Go hard to the morning light. Our last stand is Grace Jones. So as soon as Kayla throws, I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. I am worried about almost every aspect of this stand. Because if the girls don't pull this off, this could be a deal breaker. I'm watching the chariot comes out. I see Tim dressed up as Grace Jones. He has his purple hair. He has his thing, and he has his outfit on with his whip. And I'm like, this is it. This is why I drove down here, for this one damn stand. I've been hearing about this stand all week. Some stuff I don't like to look in the window and see, I like to see it executed. And then to see baby dancing dolls come out there dressed like superstars was just the icing on the cake. Too busy starting all these Cameron pulls the plug on the fire extinguisher. Whoosh. Here comes the smoke coming out. I'm like, what the what? All of a sudden, here comes Bailey coming through in a little DD4L car. She's dressed like a little police officer. I'm like, oh, Bailey, look, get my ticket. Look at her. The look on YCD's face was like, I think they want to scream. And when the smoke cleared, we had dead all we supposed to do. Looking at the stand, I would say we won the competition. But somebody's gonna lose. And in this situation, the last time the Miami team won, with the judges, you just kind of never know. The winner, first place, Stan Bell, goes to the dancer. I'm proud of the girls. They did an amazing job today, and they deserve to win. I don't know whether to scream, whether to cry, whether to turn a cartwheel. I don't know what to do, but I am excited for them. One of the girls' foot slipped, and that's the fluke accident. You're not a real dancer if you've never had a bump or a bruise. It's not about how you fall, it's about how you recover. Next time you see the superstars again, we're going to demolish the dancing dolls. I mean, I'm not gonna hold back at all. Now I know what kind of games they play, Oh, don't worry. I got something for all of that. We'll be back. This season on Bring It, we're gonna let them all know who we are and why we are the best team in Jackson. We're taking over the nation. We're on a national ass-kicking tour. Atlanta, Georgia. Stamp, Jackson, Mississippi. Stamp, 
Mobile, Alabama. Stamp! Anybody that wants to be a part of this campaign, you better make sure that you're on our side. Because if you're not on our side, then you're considered to be an opponent. Are we going to sink or are we going to swim? When you took on this responsibility you dealing with somebody else's yeah. children, yeah. you had to get used to hearing their mama's mouth. Buck up, get bucked back on. That's what it's going to be. Maybe you need another job. Who going to quit first? Because y'all ain't acting like y'all want to be here. We should put a fire on the ass and should piss y'all off. That's tea, baby. Sip that, Kermit. This competition season, the Dancing Dolls are taking no prisoners. We're not going to let up on anybody. This is a no-mercy situation. So that means every city, whether it's Alabama, Louisiana, Tennessee, Illinois, Ohio, we can go all the way to Nebraska if we have to. It's ass-kicking time.